This is Twit. The app that I want to talk about is called LAN Drop. Capital L, capital A, capital N, Drop. And the reason I want to talk about this is actually two reasons. Uh, one, because it's awesome. But two, because uh, we got a call on the radio show uh, last Saturday for someone who um, used to use an app where they were able to essentially airdrop between their iOS device and their Windows machine. And then that app went away. And so they were looking for something. And there is a free and open source app called Land Drop that will let you achieve file sharing super simply between a Mac, a PC, an iPhone, an Android. It's it's on Linux. It's everywhere. Uh, so very awesome stuff. And I'll show you. Um, I have here, uh, this is my uh, Windows machine, Elvis. And this is just a, a folder within the app, um, or excuse me, a folder on uh, the desktop of it. And I have Landrop open on my iPhone. And in fact, I think I can show you that as well. Let me see if I can't just go ahead and add that somewhere. Uh, there it is. Very small. So let me make this bigger. And so now you can kind of see this is my iPhone here and I've got some different files. And so what I will do is just choose this top file and maybe and choose open. And then you'll see that it says, oops, uh, my Windows machine went to sleep. It says, uh, it says that that file is selected. The, the name of this device is iPhone. And it shows down here the devices that I can actually send to. I want to send to Elvis, which is the name of this Windows machine. And so I'll tap on that. And then it's going to send it. But you'll see that it pops up a code, 556251. And I need to confirm that on the Windows machine. And it shows the same code, 556251. I choose yes. And then boom, it's already sent the text file. It's done. It's there. That little loading bar will disappear. I could do the same. I'll uh, hide the iPhone now just so you can see the Windows machine. I could do the same uh, from the Windows machine to my iPhone uh, by choosing land drop and right clicking on it and choose send files. Uh, I will drag the this image here to that and then I will choose send. And you'll see that iPhone is shown here. If I had uh, other ones popped up, I could get to those as well. I'll choose send. And then it says on my iPhone, receiving. And if we've got codes again. And I say, yes, I want to receive that file. And then it will pop uh, open that file for me and automatically add it to a section of the app uh, called files. You'll see that that's a little bit slower going from the Windows machine over. And uh, now I've got what I love is that on my iPhone, I've got an option here that says, do you want to allow access to all of these photos? That means that Landrop is smart enough to know that this is a photo and automatically add it to my photo library as opposed to adding it to, uh, it has a temporary storage space uh, that are for files so that you can properly save them out to where you want to. So this will just automatically add that photo to my photo library. And again, this is between a Windows machine and an iPhone, where in the past, I would either have to use the weird Bluetooth sharing that is uh, garbage where you have to like go into a bunch of settings and set it up. Or I would use uh, OneDrive, which I don't use regularly as a way to move files in between these two places. With this, I've got a simple app where I can get to the files that I want to and be able to uh, share those back in no time at all, in no time flat. And this works, as I said, it's cross-platform across so many different devices. It's free and open source. It's incredible. Uh, land drop for anyone who's trying to share files between different devices on their uh, own network. This cross-platform app is just so amazing. And yes, uh, no worries about compression. So you're, you know, if you're uploading photos and videos, it's not going to compress them before it sends them or anything like that. It's just going to send them right out and be uh, just as you expect them to be, the OG files. So check out Landrop. It's, uh, well, I mean, it's it's free, so absolutely it's worth it uh, to, to get and be able to share files between your different devices.